Hello everyone, welcome back to Budget Scenery Workshop. Uh, today's episode is another another Mortal Realms assembly video, and this is this is issue number twenty, which is the Lord Arcanum and Evocator Prime. Now, at first, when I saw this in issue eighteen or nineteen on the back there, it um. I actually thought it was basically, I'm not sure, is it? Like the same model, but one just comes mounted, so you have a choice, or is it two, but it appears it is two separate models. Like two different characters, I'm not sure. Anyway, so as ever, I pre-textured the bases with modelling clay and my textured rolling pin. Uh, for something different, I thought on the one that's mounted because you'll see he's slightly raised like his front paws legs limbs aren't actually touching the front of the base I thought I'd add like a, a rocks or rubble made out of XPS <coughs> but that'll be at the end okay So let's get started with the assembly. Yes, and I'm fully aware that this isn't terrain, but it's the it's the videos that I'd just like to have a bit of banter with you folks. Oh, and also, I have a new light. You may not be able to tell, but like lights off now. Light on. It's maybe a sl I mean, it's not a bad day today, but um, yes, it's just so I don't have to wait until like the sun's out to make videos. So, anywho, let's get started. Yes, and also, don't forget that I am very close to 100 subs 94, I believe. So, once I hit 100. I am hoping to do my Q&A, but like I said, if I only have, I don't know, like four or five questions, I might leave it to 150 subs or 200. So yeah, any questions regarding myself, on my channel, just drop them in the comments, and I'll add them to the pot of questions. At the moment, I have about five, which is good considering I'm a very small channel. But it'd be awesome to have a lot more, uh, much like my build requests. So I am still doing that, and I will continue to do that. That will be a regular thing for my channel. My um, picking, plan and shout out vids. So they're not going to be going anywhere. Don't worry. Uh, the current build request I'm working on at the moment is a mayor's house and I'm making it so it is like a, a part of my ongoing little village <coughs> uh, project that I have got going on the right one <laughs> yeah I never intended for it to be a village all these structures and little buildings that I've made but it's just kind of morphed into a village which is awesome see so yeah, all the buildings are in 
their own uh, playlist. The picking, planning and shout out playlist. And if you're not aware or if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for checking me out. I hope you like what you see and hear. And if you do ever have a build request, all you have to do is super simple. Number one, be subscribed to my channel. Number two, just drop your build request down in the comments of any of my videos. And as long as I haven't uh, previously built it, I will add it to the pot. Saying that, um, occasionally I'll like either revisit or redo a build that I'm not happy with. Like for example, my um, uh, village en entrance that I made a long, long time ago. I wasn't really happy with it. So when I got a build request for a gatehouse, I kind of, well, firstly I made it so it was it looked like a ruined gatehouse and I was much happier with it so I replaced my village entrance with a ruined gatehouse so yeah I'll occasionally do that but so far I've been reasonably happy Oh, except for, <laughs> yeah, if you uh, take a look through the playlist, you'll find a, like, a, a power substation build that I wasn't particularly happy with. And I, it just looked very, very rushed, kind of, almost a cartoonish kind of bad, not a good cartoon, you know. Oh, and occasionally I'll receive questions or comments uh, regarding painting videos like mini painting I come here but um, I am an awful miniature painter saying that I'm not great <laughs> well I'm okay I'm not a fantastic scenery builder but hey ho hmm. pretty okay numero five but yeah I do have a, a few videos in the pipeline like a couple of works in progress I'm um, still working on my lighthouse, but now that my um, airbrush has arrived, it's one of those that has the um, uh, compressor that comes with it. But I'm taking my time with that one, so hopefully that will be good. And also, today I went out and um, bought some of these little pots and this morning my pouring medium black ink and uh, deionized water that's the um that's the water you use for to put in irons and i believe that type of water won't go stagnant so i'll be making my own washes i mean it's not a a wash I came up with personally it'll just be the awesome cool awesome BMC there we go the uh, <coughs> sorry about that the awesome BMC wash. He, um, Jeremy, did a uh, 
uh, a better black wash I believe the video is called so if you've not seen it go check out his channel awesome awesome stuff but, um, he's one of the one of the channels that inspired me to make my own channel FYI uh, yeah there was Jeremy over at BMC and Bard's Craft both awesome content creators there's loads more but yeah those were the two ones yeah and as far as um, finding stuff in charity shops and oh, like cheap things to convert to this kind of hobby I um, I got inspiration from uh, I will I will pop it up on the screen right now. That channel, yeah. And um I Yes, I have a, a terrible memory, by the way, so yes, I am not forgetting your channel name on purpose. I just genuinely <laughs> sometimes my mind just draws a blank. It's kind of a, a family thing. There we go. Evocator Prime. Let's see if the light makes any difference on him. A little bit. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. Yeah, at the moment the uh, <laughs> light's not making a whole bunch of difference. Right, okay. Fragile, okay, so. Okay, so assemble the upper body of the rider first. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Nine and ten. Yeah, I've no, uh, no, I've mentioned this before, but um. Really like this Mortal Realms magazine. It actually um, came out long after I'd bought the like the the starter box sets. But um, they just sat in the in the box for ages. Like I'd take them out, have a look at them, have a look through the the books and such, the artwork, because I really like the the artwork and the style, just looks amazing. But the models themselves, they just sat, <laughs> they just sat in the box, unassembled, all sad. But it was when this magazine started coming out. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna assemble those bad boys. And get them painted. Just take my time with it. So yeah, the um all the Stormcast models, I have them all painted. But the um the Chaos models, I think it's, oh, I can't remember the name of them, so apologies if I get this wrong. Uh, I believe it's just the the Marauders. They have, I mean, they're all assembled, but it's just the, there we go. It's just the Marauders themselves. I have set up right so uh, six seven eleven <laughs> number seven is a single claw wow that's okay <laughs> let's not look at that <clears throat> so 
Oops. Uh, right, okay, yeah. So, very careful when cutting out number six. Yeah, number six, as it's very fragile. Looks like the um, some of the Night Haunt models. Minis, sorry. Yeah, some of the Night Haunt minis are very very fragile in certain places most recently I believe it was the uh, the undead horses and the riders that were very fragile so I have to be careful not to snap any bits and what not. Yeah, it's just curious as to, because now I've moved the camera angle, just so the light is behind it, just let me know how it is. I mean, it might be better, you might get a better a view and be able to see more detail. Okay, so. Right, this could be intriguing. Because there. A smidge of blue there. And. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see what they mean. Very fragile and awkward to get in. Okay. So number seven was the <laughs> single claw. Yeah, my channel is slowly getting there in regards to uh, the bits and pieces that I wanted to improve my like scenery and just just to make things easier for myself. One th another thing that did, co did come was my rotary tool. So I'm super chuffed about that. Cool. So. Right, okay, so you assemble the... Yeah, obviously you don't just... Okay, so I assemble the two sides separately, then just mash both sides together. So yeah, about about the washes video, I don't want to be. I don't want to be like accused of stealing anyone's idea because I'm I'm already telling you it's not me that came up with this uh, video for washes. But if anyone is interested in watching me make these um, this black wash, just let me know in the comments. <clears throat> Obviously, I've already directed you to the. What am I doing? To the original video, so by all means, 
Oh, okay. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, even if you just <laughs> can't believe it, another single claw. So I'm not sure if that was. Or do you think they. It's just kind of like a molding issue where they can't physically get the claws. Uh, not sure. Not criticism, just something amusing that kind of sticks out when you're assembling this. Okay, so. Awesome, awesome. Two there, two B. So, I haven't got anything on the sprue. No, no, oh, cool. So, let the assembly commence. So yeah, if, if you're liking these videos and indeed the content I create, why not hit the like button? Obviously, if you're feeling super awesome, please do subscribe. It's super close to 100 subs now, which is amazing, honestly. I'd never think, thought anyone would be interested in my silly videos, but hey-ho. happened here this needs to there we go that was the issue yeah there was um this arm was stuck behind here it just wasn't clipping in but now it is yeah onward Chicken beast. Griff, whatever. Okay, so. Okay, apologies for that brief pause there folks, you probably didn't notice it. So now this might be a little bit tighter because of the modeling clear. But there we go. Fits in nicely. So yeah, some really cool minis. But what I want to do, they look awesome. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just make like a little you know, like a little broken up rock and just add a bit more detail so yeah about the um washes video 
I don't want anyone to feel like I'm just doing it for views or whatever because obviously I was going to make one anywhere but um, I've already explained I'm not taking credit at all for the recipe I will post a, a link to Jeremy's channel But yeah, if anyone is interested in just a little video where I just make a wash, just let me know in the comments. Yes, but as long as you're fully aware, I take absolutely no credit for the recipe or anything. Yeah, because, like I said, it was just something I was going to do anyway. I thought, why not make a video out of it? Roughen up this boulder, whatever. <laughs> With a bit of tin foil. Yeah, if you're not aware, it's a good, really good way to texture bricks as well. Just a bit of tin foil. Same as you can put a bunch of XPS bricks and then into a into like. A tin can or any kind of container put some rocks in there yeah it's cool like he's kind of like he's leaping over it just put it on the edge there let's cut it down a bit Yeah, like I said, I have got a couple of video ideas in the works. The obvious one is um, the washes, where I just make my own wash. And I'm not sure if these are watertight, so I might have to be careful with mixing them. And the other one is finishing up my lighthouse build that I've been working on for a long, long time. There we go. That's a little bit more detail to to it, I think. So yeah, there's that one. There's that guy. Cool. So yeah, uh, just let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video, why not give it a like? If you check out my the rest of my content, why not subscribe and hit that notification bell? That way you'll never miss a thing. Oh, also, the other thing I made, <clears throat> this little thing, so I can put the blue tack, blue tack on there, it just works as a stand, that's why I'm painting them, that was just a quick five minute job. Okay, so, anyway, before this video gets too long, 
I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. As ever, if you have any build requests or build suggestions, drop those in the comments. If you have any questions for my 100 sub, hopefully 100 sub special, just drop those comments in, uh, drop those questions down in the comments as well. In the meantime, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye now.